two levels are new post-16 qualifications that the government have designed very much with industry and with employers to meet the skills gaps that have been identified now and in the future. Wilkshire College will start delivering these in September 2022. A T-Level will be structured as a two-year full-time programme, um, typically following on from GCSEs, um, and will work very much with employers on an industry placement as well as time spent in college. So typically um, three days a week in college and a day a week with the employer. From September 2022, the college will be running T-Levels in business and administration, in health, in science, in digital and in engineering. T-Levels have been introduced because there was a lot of qualifications that existed in, in the post-16 sector, um, many of which weren't seen to be leading to meaningful, high-skilled um, professions and providing the students with the skills, knowledge and behaviours they needed to enter the workforce. So the real benefits are that you become um, industry ready, you become job, job ready at the end of it. Um, alongside the, the core qualification and the technical qualification and the industry placement, employability skills around English and maths and digital will also be included, as well as enrichment so that the student has that rounded education to make them very employable. Wiltshire College and University Centre are very committed to developing the T-Levels. Um, we have invested a lot in terms of time and resources. Um, we are working with industry experts and panels of experts in every single one of our T-Levels to ensure that they are being co-designed and delivered with industry to really provide those current skills, knowledge and behaviours for our students. The college has been successful in gaining a capital grant from the government to develop its resources specifically for these T-levels um, and that's over £4 million in total which will be spent on state-of-the-art laboratories, um, developing a health centre um, as well as support for our digital infrastructure and the resources we have to develop that programme as well.